Hello, this is Brent with Johnson Fabrication and Controls demonstrating the RS45 Modbus RTU to DMX unit. Today we have a DMX light fixture hooked up and here is the software review for that unit. Here we can be able to see actually our intensity of each channel that we can actually use the software to actually do a manual test. As you can see here is our red, here's our green, and here is our blue. Very cool. And we can actually set the frame length. And we can do a transmission on. So if you wanted to set all three of these high, we could simulate a transmission of sending all four channels active. Let's go and turn that off. I'm going to go over and sneak over to the PLC view, which would be one other controller that would actually be controlling this device. And which I'm currently using as a click PLC. And here I have data view opened up. And I'm actually sending Modbus RS45. A little bit closer view of what some of the send commands are. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this with data view. So currently I'm going to go ahead and send a, a value of 32, which we can go up to 255. Um, this would be channel one, uh, 2, 3, and 4. This would be red, green, and blue. So I'm going to go ahead and send these values over. Excuse me, turn off the zero out value here. Here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and send this value over. Value of 32, I'm gonna turn on this rung statement which will basically activate. Second here, there we go. That'll turn on our red, there's red. Let's go ahead and do our green. So I send a value of 32 for green. Let's go and activate that. There's green. And let's go ahead and do our blue. Send a value of 32 over for blue. There we go, there's our blue. So we mix all three colors individually. And we can we can actually increase the intensity. So let me go ahead and turn off that last send command. And so let's, let's go and go up to 255. I'm gonna go ahead and zero this, let's see, 255. I'm gonna go ahead and send that mod best command out. And we just increased our red. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on the light so you can visually see me increase the green. 255. And you will see the green increase. There you go. I'm going to do the same for the blue as well. So we can actually vary the value, the intensity of each light, along with the color individually as well. And then I'll go ahead and turn all three colors off. And there's our blue. Very cool. I'm going to go and store values of zero in all three of those channels, and I will turn them off one by one. You see the red go off, green go off, blue go off. That's pretty much it. So obviously within PLC Logic and with, within the EZ3 Arduino compatible controllers, we can have all of these different lights, and as long with, along with other DMX devices, run with our Logic so we can have real world relays and solenoids turning on in sequence with this DMX light or a haunted house or escape room. So this is just a really, really actually pretty high end device that communicates with the PLC or a microcontroller that uses RS-45. And you can take advantage of a, a DMX universe and control multiple lights and other devices. So this has a lot more features. I just did the basics to show you that uh, it's pretty nifty. So once again, thank you for joining me. Uh, have a great day. Goodbye. Okay,